Joining me now in the studio is Ambassador Diego Gomez Pickering, Consul General of Mexico here in New York City. This must be so difficult for you to watch. Do you know anything about this school? It's such a confusing situation. Well, Stephanie, thank you very much for the opportunity. I'll be here. The more than uh, one million Mexican, Mexican-Americans in the tri-state area are looking with a lot of angst. Everyone's uh, putting their hands together and trying to uh, send over some help. Um, it's the situation in the school, certainly, but of many other buildings across Mexico City, a city as big as New York City with over 20 million inhabitants. The epicenter was so close to the city that uh, that's why we have so many damages. There are buildings where, as President said earlier today, people might still be trapped. 30, 32 years ago, I remember very well that terrible earthquake that hit us in 1985. And uh, back then, uh, I remember a week passed and people still alive were being recovered from those rubble. Uh, so um, it is our hope and the normal war priority nowadays is to keep on working and getting uh, any survivors that are still alive from those uh, buildings that collapsed, not only in Mexico City, but in, in, in the area and states around Mexico City. Then given the scale of this earthquake, do you believe that the human tragedy could be much bigger than we realize? I hope uh, not, but certainly there are many people that uh, are still missing. Um, and those that are unaccounted for uh, might be somewhere else or might be unfortunately dead. So um, uh, the number one priority as we speak is to keep on working day and night and trying to get those people that are still alive out of there. And rescuers aren't just coming from l the local community. People have come from the United States, from as far as Israel, even Asia. Um, but right now, what does the Mexican government need most in terms of help? Well, certainly uh, specialized teams. Now we're dealing with uh, the immediate aftermath, uh, trying to get people out if they're still alive in those um, uh, collapsed buildings. But in the days and weeks to come, we need to assess exactly all the buildings that were damaged during the earthquake, whether or not they are still usable. For these, we need a lot of help. And uh, countries across the world, and certainly here across the U.S., from Mayor de Blasio to uh, Governor Cuomo to President Trump, Everyone at all levels of government, people in the street, have been telling us we support you. And uh, we've those been are words. Those are you getting the actions, though? I mean, President Trump and, Pe and uh, President Peña Nieto have not had a warm and fuzzy relationship over the last eight months. Beyond uh, words of sympathy, um, do you believe there's going to be real commitment or support? that Mexico needs from the United States government at a time like this? There's already support. There's uh, American teams working around specialized uh, in, in this aftermath, after, uh, earthquake aftermath. And as I was saying, what we need now is really to assess all those buildings and find out whether these are still usable or not and, and keep on working with uh, you know, hundreds and thousands maybe in the days to come of people that will live without um, uh, a roof under their heads, uh, above their heads. I appreciate that at a time like this, there are no borders. It's about humanity. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.